think someone told me that you can't catch giant crappie in ponds. Well, I think they're wrong. <laughs> What's up YouTube, it's Country Cousin back with another video. As you can see, I'm back at my favorite place, AKA the favorite pond that I, but I spent a lot of time fishing this pond. Now, it's the time of the year that it can happen. But, we're gonna be targeting a different species today. We're going to be targeting crappie. Yes, it is that time. Well, I'm in a pond where I have big bass and big crappie. So it's gonna be the best of both worlds. If we can catch I don't know, maybe three eatable size crappie, take them home, do a catch and cook. Catch and cook, that would be amazing. Or we can catch a big bass, that would also be good. But maybe we can get both. Maybe we can catch a big bass and some crappie. I know this is a long intro, I don't want to bore you guys too much. Let's start. Um, I'm going to sit you guys down, let's back the John boat in, and let's start fishing. Open up my jig box. I'm gonna start off with a color that I've been swinging the crappie on lately. And I've been pairing it with a silver head, which you may be a little surprised y'all. This water's a little clear, so silver is actually a jig head color. If you guys didn't know, I actually learned that from Hook City. Shout out to Hook City. Right here, Patriot. Every now and then, if I fish in dark, some dirtier water, you know, I use pink or chartreuse. You know, I rarely use white. Only time I use white if I'm going to the river. That's the only time. That's the only time. But that's my little crappie jig right there. Well, guys, I caught a freaking bass off camera. I thought it's a crappie. It's a decent sized bass, too. Come on. Nope, got him that time. What's this? Crappie, crappie, got a crappie. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Big crappie, oh God, that is a huge crappie. That is a huge crappie. <gasps> let's go, let's freaking go. And the camera's on, okay, he's not that big. But this is a black crappie. This is the size I want, that's well over nine inches. Let's go, baby. Oh God, hold on, let me get the camera out. There we go, look. We got our first crappie, a black crappie. It doesn't look too, too big, but that is a nice crappie. No, this is a white, I'm sorry. This is a white, I don't know. This is, yeah, this is a white crappie. He's confusing me. First he looked like a black crappie, now nah, I can see he's a white crappie. But, hopefully we can stun upon something. Uh, miss, I'm thinking I missed the same crappie. I'm hoping that I didn't, maybe it's a school of them. Right here, I start fishing the deep side where I usually catch them, but I came over here to the side that looked like crappie would be it, and we got one. So we're gonna put them in a bucket. If we can catch a couple more, we got ourselves a nice catch, clean, and cook. Let's go. Woo! Oh, what my boy uh, Hook City say? Let's go, baby. 
Yeah, I feel like I feel like fishing Ken right now. Landed my first crappie out of my first John boat. God. Whew. All right, let's keep fishing. I'm so sorry. I am so freaking sorry. I went to uh turn the camera off. As soon as I do that, like same cast and all, I probably catch my biggest white crappie out of here. This crappie is gonna, gonna be well over white. Oh, look at that. That is a huge crappie. That is a huge crappie. Oh. Yeah, get that out of your mouth, buddy. Oh, I may have found them. That's a nice. I tell you, I don't, that's a white crappie. Is it? Yeah, that's a white crappie. What the hell? Yeah, that's a white. That's a white. Ah, that fish is every bit. Wait, I gotta go get my fish. Crappy ways. Oh, really? Not even a pound? Huh. It's got seven ounces. That's a thick guy. I thought, I swear him down, he was a pound. Huh. Let's go. That was a cash right there to be cast. Oh, got him. Big cr- He got him! Oh my god, that was another big crappie. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, that was another big one. Oh, that was another big crappie. I need to loosen my drag up. Got him that time. This is another big crappie. He's swimming towards me. Oh. Gotta get the net ready, gotta get the net ready. That's another big crappie. Oh, good God. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, my freaking God. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Dang, I was pretty much, I think I'm done bass fishing. This crappie fishing is about to get so good. But, oh, oh, my God. I'm freaking slaying these huge, like, oh, my God. Like, I have to weigh this one. This one has to be bigger. This one's a pound. Huh. I think I might have found him. I think I might have just found the big girls. Oh, I'm so freaking excited right now. Another one, guys. Another big crappie. Oh, shit. That's a bigger one. That is a bigger one. Look at that. He engulfed it. Look at that. He engulfed that jig. Oh, God. Look at him. Engulfed it. Oh, God. Look at this. Look at this one. Look at this one. Oh my Jesus. Oh my Jesus. Look at that jig. Gone. Hold on. Put you guys back on the big camera. There we go. Look. Sorry. Yeah, I saw a little bit of this one. Look at this huge crappie. Big boy. Look at that jig. Gone. Freaking gone. I took the cork off. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna slow roll it. Look how look at it. He hit it twice, thumped the hell out of it. I was like, you know what? I feel like they're still here. They just want a little bit of different presentation. And we got a freaking monster. Oh my God. I want to get one of these bad boys mounted, but I know they're not my PB, but God. Guys, bro, y'all just don't know how happy. You guys just don't know how happy I am. Like, that's a better look at them right there. <laughs> I got some buddies on the way. They're gonna take a couple of my they're gonna take some pictures for me. <laughs> Y'all just saw how I just said the hook on that fish. Got another one. Boy, y'all need to hurry up, dog. Like for real, bro. This is a boy. Oh, hold on. This might be the biggest one. 
This might be the biggest one. Hey, this might be my biggest crappie, boy. Look at this one. <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't my biggest white. I thought he was. He a pound and 12 ounces, almost. He was six ounces short. How many you Boy, I got about seven. Yo. <laughs> a lot didn't happen since we've been off the phone. I can't hear you. Oh, I said a lot didn't happen since we've been off the phone. I gotta use it. Hey, I, th I thought I had my PB crappie that, that lets you know something. Hold on, I gotta put him in the net for you. Here you go, this the big boy right here. That the big boy. Boy, look at the shoulders on that mug. Yeah, he got shoulders on him. He a pound 11 ounces, pound 12 ounces. Two. That the baby right there. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Bro, I probably got nine pounds of crapper and seven fish. Damn. But fished it out of my boat. And I sit here and catch them like this. I already got the title of this. Oh yeah. All right, bro, they stacked up down there. Like if I had like a, if I had like a fish find, oh, there go another one. Yep. Yep. Oh, another big one. Another big one. Yeah, camera on, camera on. Hey, hey. My tell, tell the viewers, hey, Larry. What's up? What's up? Yeah. Just Bingo. Far watching Greg catch all these slabs. That's another. That's a keeper, ain't it? Yep. You already know it. We ain't caught nothing under. We ain't caught nothing under eleven inches. We ain't caught nothing under eleven inches. Ain't that old of a truck. All right, guys. Come on, come on, take a peek. I'm gonna put that light on. Right now. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. God, God, the mighty boy. Proof? Wait, dude. I got the proof now. I told you. Man, what, dude, what I told you? What, dude, what did I tell you? What did I tell? I then I tell. I then then I tell y'all. I, I said y'all need to hurry up and get be, down here. Hold on, I can do it again. You, 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 I can you. do it again. Lord help. Hold on, me. I can do it again. I might need you. Nah, here, baby. I don't want that. One. There's a couple babies in here. Look at that. One. Look at that one. You, boy. Look at the shoulders on that. Look at the shoulders on that. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Boy. Woo -hoo, which boy. One, which one on and one? I still got some more. Which, hey, gra grab, the grab, grab the rest of them fish. Grab the rest of them fish. Which one on going in the fish tank? No, no, they're going in oh, the fish grease. No way. I got a crap in my tank. No, we need to put another one in there. No, boy. <laughs> my black crap in there getting beat up by that by that bluegill. He ain't gonna get, hey, ain't none of them gonna get beat up. No. <laughs> if I put one of them in there, he gotta be in there by himself. Well, I kind of, huh? Yeah, put that one in your hand. Uh uh, grab, grab. There's another one in there now. You, yeah, put both of them in that hand because they small. And grab big boy. There should be one more in there. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's him right there. No. <laughs> I think. I think I might have did something today. Yeah, yeah. You think I did something? Mm -hmm. Look like everybody eating good. You eating good, you eating good, I'm eating good, everybody eating good. Uh, man. So next time I say I'm going crap fishing on the boat. I'm going. Alright. I mean, I mean we're gonna make I mean, him, we got, we got one, we two, make him three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. 
I mean, we can make you bigger. I'm gonna make you a a, a three pound crappy, and then we can talk about putting you in the grease. Cause gee, yeah, I don't know what you talking about. I'm just, just gonna man. lay him down. And My now. fish tank ain't even running, y'all. I'm just catching. Boy, I feel if it good. was though, I'd be trying to cut him out of one of these motherfuckers though. You know. Alright guys, just found out after doing some research on my phone. I thought my biggest white cropper was two pounds. Actually that was a black crappie. My biggest white cropper from hell was a pound and seven ounces. So this is a new PB. I just, this just gonna be one crazy thumbnail. First time fishing out of my John Bo for crappie. Success. New PB. And we got some meat to take home, man. And it's crazy, and I think they get bigger than that in there. What's up, Ken folks? We made our way back into the kitchen. Now, it's time for the fun part. It's time to clean these crappie. Now, we tried to do this outside. That didn't work too good. It was kind of dark. So, I am not ready to clean some of them up. But, this is the special thing. I want to show y'all. Probably no one ever did. I know it looked kind of ghost ghost right now but i'm gonna show you how to get most meat off your fish crappies bluegill to my people that eat bass striped bass catfish whatever it is i'm gonna show you how to get this applies to all fish um so that being said show you a couple of the ones we got left these ain't these ain't the real real big ones but these like the average size that we have Dang, we caught these out of a pond. Like, you guys saw it. Huge, 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 like. All right, so. Show you, there's a couple cuts to make them fillets them. It's real simple. What you wanna do, I like to put my knife behind this field, behind this, uh, behind this, uh, fin. Sorry, excuse me. But, as you can see, this fish got a whole bunch of slime. So what I like to do, I just use the back of my knife mm -hmm. and try to get some of this slime off. So you won't be so god dog on hard to grab on to. Alright. So lift this fan up, put my knife here, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it straight down. Now, the reason why we doing that, because of the secret trick, I'm gonna show y'all how to get some of this meat. So the trick is to kind of line it up with this. Sometimes you can start right here, but we're gonna start right here instead. So cut down, turn your blade back towards you. Poke down, come from top of the head. Cause as y'all see, crappies have a real broad top side. And it's a lot of meat right up in here. So we want to get to that much as, po much as possible. All right, so now, what I like to do, it's very simple. Some people will tell you, turn your blade and go back out this way well when I first started flying fish I had a trouble I had real troubles with that but I'm gonna show you a little easy trick you can do you can start back here so get the bone get on the side of his dorsal fin I mean I think that's his dorsal fin y'all correct me if I'm if I'm wrong but put it against his fin what you feeling for is rib cage you going once you feel bone come up and just keep cutting come back towards you Cut down to our first cut. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing going down this way. Feel bone. But what I like to do, I like to turn my blade up this way. Then when I get right here, up in this part, stick it all the way down through. Angle it down a little bit, like a seesaw. Nice and easy, just like that. So now what I like to do, keep them flat just like this. Let the knife do all the work. Put them in the inside. You heard that? That's what you're looking for every time you fillet a fish. That's how you know you on his rib cage and you're getting all the meat. That's a beautiful sign, you ask me. Alright, now some people, what they'll do, they'll stop and they'll cut on top. So you don't gotta see no guts, food, no guts. But crappie this size actually have a little bit of better meat. It's not a lot, but they got some. Like I said, I'm trying to show you how to get the most value, the most meat out of your fish. All right, we're gonna cut this down right here. 
here. Put that little skin in there. Boom! Blade. I'm gonna show you how to take the skin off. Switch knives. This is a little bit more flexible knife than that one. Um, it's actually kind of dull. I need to sharpen it. But I know this is the scary part. Everybody freaks out. Um, what you gonna do? Use your fingertips. You're gonna put your knife right at the end between the skin and the meat. You can start up here if you want to, but I want to get as much as possible. The trick is to lay you flat down. See how flat? See how flexible this knife is? Flatten them down like this. I can see saw real slow. Start off slow. Next, the more you go up, you bring your finger up with it. Now this is for my beginners. Now if I was just cleaning these trying to be on a hurry, I can just keep it down here. I know I have to do that. But the more you practice, the more you get hang of it. Look at that. Just slide off. Turn them over. Ain't that pretty? Add them to the pile. Take his skin. Throw that over there. We're going to do the other side real quick. Most fish have them. No bass, bluegill, crappie. Got a little set of little pin bones. You can feel right there where the grill cage was. It's a little bit of bones right here. So we just take our knife. See, this knife dull, so it ain't. It don't want to work as good. We're just going to cut these little pin bones out. You can feel for them. I mean, they're very, very tiny. Finished process. I didn't even do the last one. Same thing. Feel right up here for these pin bones. Take a big knife here. Show you how we get the throat off. Um, when I was younger, I used to like try to fillet this off. But one of my previous jobs learned that it's much easier if you just cut it off. So shout out to Mr. Carl, aka the Fish Man. But we gonna turn the crop upside down. And as you can see, it's very thin right here. So what we want to do, we're going to put our knife right here. And just slide it up. See how easy my, my finger just went through that crappie? That's why they call it paper mouse. Slide it up just like that. Very simple. Now, this is going to be a little graphic. So, if you are not in the mood to see some guts, I advise you to skip like 10 seconds from now. But... <laughs> You're gonna stick your finger down, you're gonna put it down here, you're gonna grab, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull. Pull the first side off, pull the second off. Pull them up just like that. That's how you get a throat. Now, hold on, hold on. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take your fingernail, and you're gonna pull away at the skin right up in here. And if you get a good bit of it, you can grab the whole thing. Just feel around for it. We got the skin started. Now, all you gotta do is just pull it. Now, we got a skinless throat. Um, Me, I'm a country boy. I love fish fins kind of like potato chips. We can fry them whole or we can slice them in half. Put a knife down. Ah, oh, that's a nice sound right there. Now in half. Throat. We don't let nothing go to waste. Now, I'm gonna finish this last one up. We're going to show you our little secret ingredient and how I like to prepare. And yeah, I'll see you when it's time to do that. We ain't got to the process now. We ain't got them nice and clean. We ready to season them and flavor them up. We actually got some left over. So 
We got a bag of fillets, got a bag of throats. But I'm excited to show y'all a little recipe. I don't know if I did it last time. So the trick to making delicious fish. You need vinegar and a lemon. Now, I know what you're thinking. All oh, that fish is going to be sour as I'll get out. Nah, just hear me out. Just hear me out. Just hear me out. So I'm going to a touch of vinegar. Not too much. Take us a lemon here. Let's get down in there with your hands. You know what I'm saying? We don't need no lemon squeezer. We get down in there with our hands. You know, country folks, we don't believe in all that extra stuff. That's just the reason to spend all money. All right. Squeeze it. Now we got us a little juice situation. Do my fillets. Send them in there. Mainly these fillets. So we're gonna season these up real quick. We're just gonna dust them. Not too much. Gotta be careful with this black pepper. Ooh, this stuff right here make you sneeze. Same thing for the troops. Right. Be quiet, Venus. Venus be like, what's going on now? What's going on? Alright, so we got them all seasoned. Mix them up. Alright, my country folks, yeah, I know about that cast iron skillet. Gonna put that bad boy on about between six and five. Now it's time to take old Mr. Crappy. Just around a couple times. Shake off that extra access. Come on, yeah. You come on. See how flaky that is right there. You know, this 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 piece for y'all. You know, take it. There you go. That's yours. You ain't want it. Well, forget. Sorry. Show you guys how the throat turn out. This is my favorite part about a about a fish. These fins they're like potato chips. They don't taste fishy at all. Fantastic. But this is the throat right here. See how much meat it is on this bad boy? Yeah. Look how white it is. Clean. Y'all better stop filleting y'all crappy and leaving them throats on them. Y'all missing out. Y'all missing out. Well, I hate eating y'all face. I was raised with manners. But now, and I showed y'all the way I like to enjoy them, the real way. Next, we gonna get creative. Maybe we might bake them, 
put them on the put them on the grill. I love throwing fish on the grill. I ain't that's right, country girl. Mm -hmm. She behind. I know y'all wondering what country girl is, cause she in every kitchen cook. She doing her hair. She don't want to show herself. But yeah, um, I don't want to talk you guys head off. It's late. I gotta get up early in the morning. Fish a tournament practice. Um, but yeah, y'all uh, y'all wish me luck. Hopefully we can do good in practice and catch some more crappie. But uh. Yeah, um, like I said, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Uh, yeah, I'll see you later, Kim, folks. Catch your boy, Passion.